No way. Yeah. Oh, that's this cool. Is where the Good morning, travel dreamers. We have started off the morning at the Siri Watana Market here in Chiang Mai, which, by the way, is amazing. If you're looking for a really good place to eat in the morning, this is the place to come, and it's actually twofold. It has like a grocery slash like a la carte, buy what you want market on the other side. And then right across from it, they have like all of these different like street food stalls where you can buy things for like 40 baht, so just over a dollar. Anyway, today we're doing something really cool. Despite having lived in Chiang Mai for a month, we never made it up to Doi Sutep. So today, that's where we're taking you. If you wanted to make a day trip out of Doi Sutep, we didn't realize that there were gonna to be tons of cool things to stop off, like waterfalls, a palace, nature trails, and viewpoints. We stopped off at one of the waterfalls just because we wanted to be able to show you what you can do. This waterfall is called, whatever it is right here, because I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, and it was 20 baht to park our motorbikes and 100 baht per person to go in. It looks like a pretty decent sized waterfall from what I can see on like the little signs around here. Keep in mind you can't bring alcohol to these places, but hopefully you wouldn't be going to a Thai temple drunk anyway or riding your motorbike that way. But if you wanted to make a day trip out of going to Doi Sutep, there's ample things to do on the way up. On that note, we're gonna keep going. <laughs> and I think we've officially made it. We're not really sure. We just kind of like, we're like, ah, let's just go back to the place where all the cars are parked. Yeah. Follow the tour buses. 100%. If you don't see tour buses anymore, you've gone the wrong way. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. We were talking about it in like the bumpy roads that were happening earlier. Oh, I think it's just like... They really only paved the tourist roads? I'm yeah. not really sure, but like there should not be sketchy roads like that on the side of a mountain. No, I literally told Danny, you know tourists aren't meant to go up it when yeah. it goes from road to obstacle course. <laughs> yeah. After that, it's for Thai people. Yeah, right, because they have the expertise and skill. <laughs> Absolutely. Anyways, I think we're gonna go try and figure out where to get into this temple and go from there. Yeah. So uh, apparently we still went way too far. Usually with temples, you can have as a woman like a throw over your, just to cover your shoulders and your golden and then just make sure your knees are covered, which is all of us are. But we got here and the guy's like, oh, no, 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 no cover. You need sleeve shirt. And we're like, what? That's not usual of temples. And so he's like, oh, no, 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 this is not temple. It was like a booting palace. And that's looking up information on it now. But apparently we have to go back down the mountain a little bit more. Uh -huh. Okay, so the Booping Palace is the Thai Royals winter residence. No way! Yeah. Oh, that's this is cool. This where the Thai King and his wife come to live during the winter months. That's legit. Okay, well there you go. The more you know and you can actually go inside of it. Just make sure that you actually have a long sleeve shirt and that you're actually wearing pants. Because they don't just allow cover-ups. We've made it. We got lost. We went to some palace. And now we're here. We hope. So we're not really sure how far up this thing goes, but literally as soon as we went up the first set of stairs, which was only like 10 steps, we were greeted by everything that's behind me. And it's absolutely beautiful. It's like a nice cool breeze going. You do hear all the cars in the background. So it's not like the most peaceful thing we've ever done, but the Buddhas and the statues, the artwork is so well done that it's just beautiful to walk around here. And there's like four or five different main statues just kind of clumped together. It's pretty neat. I think Daniel just told you this, but we went up the stairs and we've literally just been stuck. We haven't even seen the stupa. We haven't seen literally anything. Is it a stupa? No, I meant the shetty. We haven't even seen the shetty yet. And we've just been bucking around with Buddha back here. 
It's been great. Oh wow, the entrance to this thing is beautiful. They literally have these like really shiny, colorful dragons that lead all the way up the steps. So friends, once you get to the staircase that takes you all the way up to like the actual temple, which is Wat Pratat, not Doi Sutep, you're, you're gonna make it to like this platform that has a bunch of gift shops. So if you're in the market for souvenirs, Night Bazaar in Chiang Mai is always a great option, but this has some pretty cheap souvenirs. Like a little Buddha is, I think, a dollar and thirty-three cents, which, if that's what you're into, is a good place to get it. What are we about to do? We're about to go up the mountain. I love flowers in my hair. Chances are, if you follow our Instagram stories, uh, which you should totally should, you'll see me with flowers in my hair all the time. The walk up definitely looks a lot more intimidating than it actually is. If you guys click the link up above, you can see where we went to Tiger Temple, and that hike was terrifying. It was like some of the steepest, most uneven places you had to walk on, but here, nice and smooth. It was actually basically a ladder up a cliff. So keep that in mind, <laughs> take water. <laughs> So to get into the temple, it costs you 30 baht a person, which is roughly just under one US dollar. Not bad. And a lot of times, the money that you do pay for these entrance tickets, they do get used to like keep the temples up and revitalize it and really keep it nice for the people who are coming here to worship and for us visitors who are coming here to be tourists. So I will never complain about paying an entrance fee unless it's like 15 bucks. That's a different story. 30 baht, we on the right page. Doi Sutep is gorgeous. It's a really beautiful temple complex up here. Lots of golden Buddhas, there's a golden Shetty, and there's this beautiful staircase that you saw earlier to come all the way to the top. But I think out of all of the temples that I've been to, this has to be the temple with the best view I have ever seen. Literally, you're able to see all of Chiang Mai, all of the mountains around it, and even the landing strip. Literally, we just kind of got stuck staring at airplanes depart and arrive. And from up here, they look really, really slow. <laughs> Also, something I've loved about this temple is just how much flora and fauna there is up here. Lots of pretty birds, lots of pretty flowers and trees, a canopy, there's a nice breeze. Whereas like, if you've been to the Grand Palace in Bangkok, which you can go up here, you'll even see just how hot and miserable it was. <laughs> He was making noise on it by rubbing his hands down. So I'm gonna try that real quick. It sounded more epic. So this right here is a jackfruit tree and this is little baby jackfruits. We've seen these guys grow enormous, like to the size of my torso in Bali. And they have a really rough outside. It's like a dragon. I don't know how to describe it. It's like not thorny, but pretty rough. As with every temple that you'll go to in Thailand, you cannot go into sacred places with your shoes on. So we put our smelly shoes on this rack. Y'all, I have some major Teva tan lines going on. <laughs> Looking fabulous. Guys, the shetty behind us is actually really sacred. Apparently, it's said to enshrine one of Buddha's shoulder bones, and a wandering monk split it in half, put one at the base of the mountain, and put one up here to make this a holy mountain. And so, this has been built for hundreds and hundreds of years, literally established in the 1300s, 
and it still looks impeccable to this day. So coming up here and being around the, the Shetty is really cool because you can see all of the people who are like walking around doing prayers. They're like reciting different verses that are like on pieces of paper. Um, I'm not gonna show it to you because I don't want to disrespect anyone by filming them while they're praying. But when you guys are here, just make sure that you keep your voices a little lower because everyone kind of is in the middle of their form of worship. It's really, really cool to experience and it's so beautiful up here. Unfortunately, we came on like a pretty cloudy day, but usually it's blue skies and sunshine. Huh? We just got blessed by a monk and he gave us these cool bracelets. That was so cool. Guys, thank you so much for joining us on this trip to Doisetep. It's been a blast. Yeah, and Thank you so much for all of you guys who have been joining us on our travels around the world. If that's something that you're interested in doing, make sure that you click the link up here because I actually created an entire PDF filled with 50 creative ideas for you to make money while you travel so you can do exactly what we're doing. Yeah, so make sure that you go ahead and give this video a like, hit the subscribe button so that way you can see the rest of our adventures around the world. Comment below if you like this video like that. We can continue to make videos like this for you in the future. Exactly. We'll see you on our next adventure. Bye.